Ranch Road 1 goes along the Ferdinelli's River Loop, which is the loop that President Johnson's ranch is on. Highway 290 is where it starts, about 15 miles west of Johnson City, Texas. These are some of the cattle on President Johnson's ranch and that is the Pertinelli's River in the background. This little dam that you see between the trees, you have to drive across the bottom of that to get access to the ranch house. Here's the entrance to the LBJ off of Ranch Road 1, and here's the dam which we have to drive across to get up to the ranch house. This day on the LBJ was the occasion of President Johnson having the President of Mexico on his ranch for a Texas-style barbecue by Fort Worth Barbecue King Walter Deton. We're driving in early on the morning of November the 12th, 1964, set up the barbecue and get things ready. Here is the little white house as it's often referred to. President Johnson's ranch house on the LBJ. There's a lot of work starting a barbecue, and Leonard Troop had been up to fill up the water tanks on the big barbecue truck, and here Walter Deton is lighting the lanterns for the hot tamale wagons. <clears throat> These were to be used for hors d'oeuvres, along with barbecued ribs for a social hour while they had a reception line. Here you see the presidential jet star and the presidential helicopter. This helicopter follows the president all over the nation wherever he goes so that it might take him on short hops to save time driving on the highways. It's one of the new jet helicopters and it moves on pretty good, just like Jetstar carries him at about 600 miles an hour all over the nation. Here Walter is uh, putting some quarters of beef on the big spits to be barbecued for the afternoon party. They have to be wired on so that they won't fall off while they're turned and the fire is below it and off to one side because the wind was out of the north that morning and the heat naturally would travel a little south so the fire could not be directly under the meat while it's cooking. In the background is the truck where they have all the food and some tables and coffee and biscuits and pies. Now then the quarters are just about ready to be barbecued. This is an overall view showing the barbecue site. All of the guests will come through this area to get their food and the tables are set up off to the left down on the river bank. Of course all the tables are empty now because they're just getting things ready. And here comes Mrs. Lyndon Johnson's social secretary, Beth Abel. She's discussing the plans for the barbecue with Mr. Gatton to be sure everything is on schedule, which it is. Now the fire's going and the ribs are cooking. Boy, don't they look good. They're hot, too. A lot of ribs, a lot of chickens barbecued chickens and barbecued beef and sourdough biscuits. Those black doors behind the man there are the ovens. And here comes another jet star. This one apparently from Bergstrom Air Force Base at Austin with a two-star general aboard. During the course of the afternoon some 40 or 50 airplanes landed from all over the nation to attend this big barbecue dinner that President Johnson gave in honor of Mexico President 
Diaz Ordaz. There we are turning the meat on the spits. And you remember I said the fire was off to one side. You can see how the wind is blowing there too. And the heat comes right up to the meat with it being back of it a little like that. And here goes the general jet star. He apparently was checking on a few things and back to Austin he goes. That little plane really moves. That's the same type that President Johnson goes all over the country in when he doesn't use his big 707 Air Force One. And here is a close-up view of the ranch house. And before we can even go across the gate, we the so Secret Service men check security to be sure it's all right for us to go in. We're now en route to the airstrip behind this house, where in just a minute or two, President of Mexico will land, and here he is, President Johnson out there greeting him as he steps off of his prop jet plane. He's just flown in from Mexico. The pilots and the other officials of the Mexico government are aboard. President Johnson greets them all, and the gentleman there in a kind of a light suit with his back to us, that's, there he is, President of Mexico on President Johnson's right. Mrs. Johnson and the President of Mexico's wife were on his left, and they get into a, an electric golf cart for the trip around to the front of the house. And there's his jet plane in the background, and we're off to the front. That's the President of Mexico, Diaz Ordez. It's just a short ride around to the front. You can see the hangars in the background here, and at this point, they're about even with the house, and they'll drive right on around to the front where President Johnson has some wet cement stepping stones laid. All of his guests, he has them to write their autograph in these stepping stones, and they're all around the house, up and down the little hills, and the date on them. And now, President of Mexico, apparently that's his aide, and President Johnson will kneel here to inscribe their name on these stepping stones. And when they are dry, they'll be placed among others, like John Glenn and uh, other famous movie actors and other famous personalities from all over the world. Look at that battery of photographers. There must have been 200 photographers there recording this event from Mexico and the United States. There's President Johnson signs his name, and he's going to put the date in. And there's President Ordaz. After they finish their inscription, Lady Bird Johnson takes over Mrs. Ordaz to inscribe her name in one of the stepping stones. They had some 15 or 20 of these prepared for anyone who desired to put their name in history around the Johnson Ranch. Note that tall tower in the background. Boy, there are just all kinds of antennas for radio communications there. When President Johnson's at his ranch, he has, has to be in contact with the White House at all times. Here they're discussing Mexico, and President Johnson now says he spent his honeymoon at uh, some town there where President Ordaz did too. However, they was a few years apart. There's the President's signature and President Ordaz of Mexico signature. Now they're in front of the little White House for a brief moment to pose for photographers and then they retire inside the living room to await the barbecue time. Here's another prop jet coming in with officials on it. And now the barbecue started and here's the entertainment. A combo from Old Mexico, they play xylophones and drums down there a lot, and they're really beautiful. I just wish we could have recorded some of that sound. Did you notice that drummer twirling that drumstick? He really twirls it around. Look at that. Watch him now. There we go. Right on the banks of Pertinelli's River on the LBJ Ranch. Some famous personalities showed up for the barbecue. There's a few of them there. There's Milton Burrow, the comedian, with Walter Jeton. And does he ever go for those barbecued ribs? 
And that's Gene Autry. The old cowboy himself, Gene Autry, he's back in the saddle again. And that gentleman there on the right was the ranch foreman for Johnson. And here, there's Eddie Fisher. And now for a little close-up of Eddie sampling the barbecued rib, too. And he sang a few songs while he was there. Now here comes President Johnson through the barbecue line. The reception's all over, and uh, Johnson and Ordaz start off the afternoon's barbecue by going through the serving line first. And he's piling that plate full of that good sliced beef, chickens, and barbecued ribs, and more officials arriving. Well, they didn't allow photographs during the actual barbecue, so we had to put our cameras up. And the day's over now, and we're going back down the little dam, which gives access to the ranch house, and back across the little road that takes you back to Ranch Road 1. And this concludes the day on the LBJ.